Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is Esther chapter 6, verses 1 through 11. During that night, the king could not sleep, so he gave an order to bring the book of records, the chronicles, and they were read before the king. It was found written what Mordecai had reported concerning Bigthana and Teresh, two of the king's eunuchs who were doorkeepers, that they had sought to lay hands on King Ahasuerus. The king said, What honor or dignity has been bestowed on Mordecai for this? Then the king's servants who attended him said, Nothing has been done for him. So the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman had just entered the outer court of the king's palace in order to speak to the king about hanging Mordecai on the gallows which he had prepared for him. The king's servants said to him, Behold, Haman is standing in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. So Haman came in, and the king said to him, What is to be done for the man whom the king desires to honor? And Haman said to himself, whom would the king desire to honor more than me? Then Haman said to the king, For the man whom the king desires to honor, let them bring a royal robe, which the king has worn, and the horse on which the king has ridden, and on whose head a royal crown has been placed, and let the robe and the horse be handed over to one of the king's most noble princes, and let them array the man whom the king desires to honor, and lead him on horseback through the city square, and proclaim before him, Thus it shall be done, to the man whom the king desires to honor. Then the king said to Haman, Take quickly the robes and the horse, as you have said, and do so for Mordecai the Jew, who is sitting at the king's gate. Do not fall short in anything of all that you have said. So Haman took the robe and the horse, and arrayed Mordecai, and led him on horseback through the city square, and proclaimed before him, Thus it shall be done to the man whom the king desires to honor. When those of us who are believers are too preoccupied to notice God speaking to our spirit, He may get our attention by giving us a restless spirit. The book of Esther gives us a wonderful example of this. In the sixth chapter, we see that King Ahasuerus could not sleep, so he gave an order to bring the book of records. As a result, the king became aware of an assassination plot against him that had been foiled by a man named Mordecai. The ruler made plans to honor him. What the king didn't know, however, was that Haman, one of his royal advisors, had targeted the hero that Ahasuerus wanted to celebrate. Not only had Haman plotted to hang Mordecai, but he'd also planned to kill all the Jews. Because of Esther's request, the king intervened, saving not just Mordecai, but the entire Jewish population. Now, what started this process? It was a restless night. The king did not know why he couldn't sleep, but we know. He had insomnia because God was trying to get his attention. The Lord had something important for Ahasuerus to discover, and his way of getting through to him was an unpleasant night of sleeplessness. How often has this happened to you? In such moments, ask the Lord, what is it that you want me to know? You'll discover that God can and will enlighten you.